You said he's an alcoholic. He's always fucking drunk, always on the air. Yeah. He gets like, uh, but it's a big get, like, because like those hockey players are hard to go by, and yeah. they can get on, on those like Saturday afternoon shows. It's, yeah. it's a good guess at the end of the day. That's funny, dude. Well, we gotta bounce at like twenty. Yeah, twenty minutes we have to see. Yeah. It's not gonna be as heated as the Raptors, that's for sure. Oh no, I can't be. So I think can be. Quick, we'll talk about your Charlotte, Miami, and then we'll get to those other second round series. All right. <laughs> Welcome back, playoff episode of On the Block. No more Raptors talk, we're Raptors talk though right now. We're going to move on to the rest of the NBA as we should. Um, potential matchup for the Raptors or Pacers, whoever uh, advances, is going to be Charlotte, Miami. Another game seven tomorrow, one o'clock, stealing the Raptors early game. Yeah. Um, that series has been back and forth, also a lot of blowouts. Um, Miami winning that last road game. It's going to be in Miami tomorrow. Who, who do you guys think takes this? Well, one? Miami's taking it for sure, hands down. I picked Charlotte, so I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna stick with Charlotte because I'm, I'm not gonna go against my pick. Um, I mean, Dwayne Wade had a crazy game six, but I like what Kemba Walker's been doing, and they made a couple mistakes there at the end. I figured, you know, that was their best chance, being that they were in Charlotte for game six, and I figured that would be the close all game. I think that's what I had predicted. I think it was Charlotte in six. Um, but again, I'm gonna stick with Charlotte because again, I have to because I you know, that's what I predicted, but. I got a feeling that Miami will probably pull it up because I think Wade will get will carry yeah. the team to another another W. Oh man, another Wade. W. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I we picked, got a union too. I picked Miami when we did it before, and they probably should win. But if we're, I'm going with Charlotte now. I'm switching. I like yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, I like yeah. the way they play. I, like I, I, I like I like Lynn too, but I like yeah, I like switch over Yeah, I, I got to switch. Even though they could possibly, that it, I wouldn't bet my money on Charlotte, but I'm going for Charlotte. I think it's gonna be a blow up for Miami. For Miami? Yeah. Uh, my heart tells me Miami. I want to pick Charlotte because I'd like to see them go on. And Miami hasn't looked great. Really? Neither has Charlotte, but and Charlotte's obviously on the mound with Kid Gil Chris out the whole season. And, and Batoon just and Batum coming got back. Hurt again. He got hurt again. Yesterday, yeah, he didn't what? finish the game. Oh, I didn't. Know. No, no, no. Why do you think it's gonna be a blow? And not Miami. Why was, Miami was shooting sixty percent uh, in that first half, and it was only about an eight, nine point game. So why do I, I think, think that was probably be... they're not gonna be shooting that, that well tomorrow. Why do I no think way. it's gonna be a blow? Because one, Miami is they have vets on their team that know how to close out games and been in the playoffs, and you know they're they're ready for that situation. Like the last game, like you said, was Charlotte's best chance of yeah. ending it. And it looked like they had it. And Dwayne Wade was just like, no, it's it's not going to happen. And the fact that Miami was that close of going home, and they have a chance to, to they've been given a chance to, to close it out at home, that's all they need. I think that's my, all they need. I say Miami wins it tomorrow. Like I said, I want to show. I took Miami to start the series. I think that they're the better team. I saw on white side, it's been okay. Well, and Jefferson they, they called like, that time. I think they called like three bad fouls, fouls. on on one He's side. Bad with foul trouble. Yeah. You know what? He gambles a lot. There was one reach and he had, and even the broadcaster was saying, "You're a good enough shot blocker. Why yeah. are you reaching in?" Yeah. Even though, even though, even though he did shot. get all ball, even though he did get all. Well, you know ball. what, guys? I play ball like you know us. You know that if you're reaching across the body on someone, even if you get all ball, how often are you gonna get the steal call? If you're out of yeah. position. You're not gonna get that call, especially being a seven footer. Play your normal defense. Yeah, what are you yeah. trying to go for these steals for? One thing I want to say, the, the main reason I'm switching over to Charlotte, on top of the fact that I like the way they play, is when we did this last time when I picked, I thought Joe Johnson was going to be like the playoff Joe Johnson with this new team and whatever, and I'm not seeing that. So if, as long as he keeps just doing that little stuff that he's doing, hit those little shots, not doing nothing, I think Charlotte, there's no way. It'll be a blowout if Joe Johnson catches yeah, that. And gonna, that's who I think yeah. will catch fire, oh, okay. Joe Johnson. He'll, he'll I show, think he'll he's the one who will catch fire <laughs> at home. And with Batum mode, it's going to be like, yeah, like he, if Batum's healthy, maybe, like you said, Charlotte seals that game. Let's move on to some uh, potential second-round matchups. Um, Cavs are waiting on that Miami-Charlotte series. Does any, quickly, does anybody think that the Cavs have a roadblock there? Or sorry, no, they won't. They're going to play... Yeah, they're going to play Atlanta. They're going to play Atlanta. Yeah. So, 
That was a thing event. Yeah. yeah. Which is a rematch of the Eastern Conference final last year. Yeah, but yeah. I like I like the, I like I like uh, Bismarck's confidence. I I, I like I, them. I just yeah. don't I don't know. I I don't think they get swept. Caps are more. No, 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 they won't get they, swept. They they will win. I I think they'll win two games at the most. Okay. I think they'll compete. I think, I think, I think, I think Atlanta has a better shot this year than they did last year. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, mm, no. Uh, I think yeah, they had a better team. They had a better team last year. Last year. They had a better team last year. No, no, they didn't have love. They didn't have love. Yeah. They didn't have love. I know they didn't have love. I just feel like they're not playing as well as they were last year. I remember when Mark made a point at the beginning of our last podcast and said, can you call a sweep where every game is close? And that's what happened with Detroit and, and, yeah. and Cleveland. And Cleveland really struggled with Detroit. They were down a lot of those games too. Maybe it's because they felt that they were the better team, didn't give their best effort. Mm-hmm. But I do feel like Atlanta had a better chance this year than they do last Even though they lost Carroll and they and the Cavs have love. I do think that Atlanta can be surprised this year. So but... I'm, I'm saying, is this the first time, like, I mean, in the series, uh, the the series Cleveland was in the, with Detroit, the big three average, they all average 20, right? Yeah, Cleveland's playing some great ball, too. The big that, three, the the big big three is playing, playing good, ball. man. Come and J.R. Smith is on fire. Yeah. That's, a, that's on fire. a problem, You man. know who's not on fire, though? Tristan Thompson and uh, Shumpert. Both those guys have been yeah. out of it. So they have yeah. no depth right now. Their stars are playing good, which is great. But they have no secondary scoring. Oh, so man, we, we can go on and on about Tristan Thompson's contract. We talked about that Max enough yeah. times. Yeah, like, <laughs> we don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> like, that, that's that in itself. If not for the salary cap raising, that would be such an anchor for Cleveland, that team. Cleveland just, was just like one, one question for Tristan Thompson: Does he give a quarter of that salary to LeBron James for negotiating that deal for him? <laughs> basically, like made Cleveland. Win. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> he said, "If you don't, I'm leaving." Well, yeah, LeBron's the GM, anyways, right? Exactly. Yeah. Let's move to the West. Um, OKC is gonna play the Spurs. You've gone on the record to say OKC is winning nothing. Yeah. They need challenges. Well, I'm not saying they're doing nothing. Like they, no, they're winning they're, nothing. They're yeah, not winning the title. They're not gonna win. But I'm, I'm not, I don't mean like like I don't like the way they play or they're like a horrible or anything. It's just I just I don't see how they could beat the Spurs. Obviously, I don't know what Parker's gonna do against Westbrook, but like Durant wise, I Leonard and like I believe the defense wise, I don't picture him. Touching a forty point game or anything like that. If anything, it's gonna be Westbrook scoring a forty point game. But even if he scores forty with a triple double, that will be one game. Yeah, they, they still, still might lose. lose. So I, I, I can't see any way on earth that Spurs lose this series, I, especially I coming off a sweep and well rested. All I'm gonna say is that we're talking about easy money snipers, all right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Durant, okay. absolute best score in the league. No. <laughs> okay, okay, like, well, who is Curry? Yes. Okay, absolutely. Okay, you're right. All right, you're right about that. But he's, he's up there. Okay, he's yeah, up there. He's second. Okay. okay, and I honestly think OKC can beat the Spurs. I'm not saying like they will, but I think they they can do it. It's not like oh, I'm giving it to the Spurs. Like oh, OKC has no chance. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I think. If OKC plays the right way, consistently, they can they can do it because, yo, those two are the best. They're the best duo, like probably the one of the best duels in history. No, no. they're the best duo in the league right now. I think. No, like no, I I said one. Okay, I didn't say okay, the best. Okay, okay, I didn't say the best. <laughs> no, I said okay. one of the best <laughs> duos in history. Okay. If you look at all the duels. They're up there. But I need duos that win. Like, that everyone's scared. I'm not saying that's what yeah, I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Shaq and Kobe. No, yeah, they Shaq won. and Kobe. Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're probably like, would you say they're the best duo? They're top three for sure. Who's the best duo? What in the uh, I think Those are my guys. Of all, of all time? Yeah, of all time. I, 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 I Magic and Worthy, maybe? Or? I, I, would, I would probably get one of those titles. Jordan, Jordan Pippen. Jordan Pippen. Yeah. Jordan Pippen and then Shaq and Kobe? You know what, like... See, is yeah, Pippen, yeah, Pippen, yeah, is Pippen, Pippen like Pippen was again? Yeah, he had the numbers. He was, he was scary he, defender. Scary yeah, defender. Just, but you know what? But like, I would probably take. I would, you know, in terms of pure dominance, it might be Shaq and Kobe. Yeah, if we go like, see, to be a duo, there yeah. are two people that work together and win and play good. To me, like a uh, Isaiah Dumars, things like that, right? Like if you play, you know, when you play a jam, you have the two guys you put together. Shaq and Kobe, they won because of how dominant they were. They're the most 
I, I, if you want to go by dominance, they were better than Jordan mm -hmm. and yeah. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. It looked like they were just fighting each other the whole time to be the best, and they they were winning because their team was better than everyone. They had some good pieces. They had good coaching, and they just beat everyone. I just think I, they really just won because yeah. one, no one can stop Shaq at his position, yeah. and no one can stop Kobe at his position. Yeah. It was simple as that. Yeah. And just like you said, like they didn't like each other. I mean, yeah. I, they respected each other, yeah. but like. They were just trying to get buckets but, and but no one can stop. But there's a reason they were losing before Phil, before Phil got there. They played yeah, together for exactly, years before, right? Exactly. So what I'm saying is, no. we're getting back. We don't want to talk about history. I know. Here. We're going to get back to what's going to do. At the end, at the end I, kinda, I do agree with him because you know, my, my head, my, you know, my head tells me that the Spurs will win it and in, in likely in a seven-game series. But for some reason, I got a quirky feeling yeah, that man. OKC pulls out the pulls win. Pulls it out. Like, I don't game. know what it is. See, hold on. It, hold yeah, on. Man. I have a quirky Yo, feeling. Yo, thank you. The that, same, uh, bro, the I have same a feeling thing, that something's going to be off with that. I don't, I don't know OKC, why. that Westbrook will, will just have some, some tremendous, tremendous games. And then San Antonio will, will stutter yeah. a little bit, and they'll beat them. I don't know why. I just man. feel that way. Two, two, just two things. Quick, it won't even be a long thing. First thing, if that happens... If that happens, then I, will, I think that they can be go. If they can beat the Spurs in six games, and they're playing basketball in order to capable to do that, then I'm I'm picking them to go to the finals. That's one thing. Number two, I think the way the Spurs are going to beat them is going to be the same type of easiness that they beat Dallas. Like how many games did Dallas win? One. Oh, one. Yeah, okay, no, so that's no, what I. That's, that's what, what you're saying. saying? That's my you don't think OKC can get two games on the Spurs? That, that's my prediction. Yeah, it's gonna be one game. Uh, one game that they oh could have won, but they turned over the ball. You know, so one blow up. I was, honestly, okay. I wouldn't even be surprised. If the Spurs swept, that yeah, yeah, yeah. before like would really it be confidence? I wouldn't really be surprised. I wouldn't really be surprised. I wouldn't 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 be I'm, I'm saying five, but <laughs> for the record for my stuff, wow. that's what I'm saying, four or five guys. Wow. Honestly, I can't even, if you're going to say with confidence that if OKC beats the Spurs, they're going to the finals, if Curry's healthy, I'm going to say no. Look at what the Clippers did last year. They beat the Spurs and lost to Houston next year. So I, that's, I don't, based I on that that's theory, the I don't like that. That's the thing. Even last, last year, you, you thought that San Antonio was going to do more in the playoffs and they still stuck. That's yeah, exactly they have Aldridge. why I have yeah, that they have weird Aldridge, But a lot of those other guys have gotten a year older too. Thank you're not going to get much from Duncan. Thank you. No, that is exactly why I have this that is, weird feeling. Man, man, hold on one second. I say this, I say this, and with due respect you guys because I love you. I had this talk with my dad. My dad's like, oh, you know, the Spurs are old. And I said, not even, or I heard the Spurs are old. And I said, you know what, dad? I said, you know who will tell you the Spurs are old? People that don't know basketball. Yeah. People that don't know basketball will say the Spurs are old. Yeah, yeah. Tim Duncan's old as hell. I'll give you that. He's still average eight and seven. Tony Parker's also, old. Tony Parker's 33. Everybody thinks he's 40. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. 33. Manu Ginobili plays 10 minutes a game. Your best player by far is 23, 24 years old. Go on, I don't know. Look, LaMarcus Aldridge is 28 in his prime. Everybody else you have. On the bench, Danny Green. How old is Danny Green? Not 30. How old is... Um, but, I always forget his name. Backup point guard, Australian guy. Paddy Mills. How old is Paddy Mills? Not 30. Let, but let me ask you, though. It, but hold on. Point is, they're not old. Yeah. Okay. They're not old. They're not going to okay, or get our back hurts. They're coming off a sweep. They've had a week off, probably. And I think that the Spurs win this series. Are they going to... No. I said they're going to sweep. They're probably not going to sweep. It's going to be a five or six game series. What I want to get to after this is going to be the other one, which is going to be a big topic. Finish up. Now... Let's look at play devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. The other, the, the Spurs that you mentioned, Ginobili and Duncan, and so forth. If you take, if you got Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, and then you have Lamarcus Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard, and then the supporting cast equal out in terms of what they do, who wins this? Who wins that no, series? But it's not equal. It's no, but it's not. I, devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. If, if, if the if the OKC, if the other guys step up and match the production, that say a Duncan again, he's not going to play many minutes. A Ginobili and a Patty Mills and Danny and all Green. Those guys. If they, they all, all match. if they all match up, you gotta say that the OKC yeah. guys win that Ooh, series yeah, because Marcus Aldridge and, and, and Kawhi Leonard. I love Kawhi Leonard defensively and so forth, they're, they're but not they're not, not. They're not Russell Westbrook and, and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant they're not Durant canceling the Russell Westbrook. Okay, that's what, you what, 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 what I'm thinking. Because they are going to. But Buck has a great series, and Enos Kanter has a great series. Buck has been bad. You're saying great now, so you need these other guys to be amazing to beat them. So what does that tell you? But again, I have faith that again, a Buck is a Buck is terrible from bad. But again, if 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 Ibaka can even like 
Yeah. Yeah. If Obama can get, can get like 13, okay. 14 points per per game in this series? When it, let me give you guys. When someone says oh, if, when, when two teams are playing and only one team is getting all the ifs, that's usually the team that's supposed to lose. Like, I, you're not going to say anything if, because you know no, what no, no, you're, you're right, you're right. Different if. So that's my, why, that's whatever, why. I just have two questions. How much, how much points, like, just say on average, what, do you, what is, not by this season, let's say this is 2019, but same type of skill level. Mm. What is Durant average a game? Yeah, about 25. Okay, 25, 25 a game. What, is, what, do you, what do you think Leonard is capable of, like, of doing? Same thing. Same thing. Are you saying 25? Same thing. No. Okay, so 25. I'm not committing 25. I'm saying 20. 19, 20. 25. 19, 20. 19, 20. 19, 20. Okay, so you have 25. You like letters, eh? No, no, no. You're going to fake to all those guys. You're going to fake to all those guys. You're going to fake to all those more shots for him, too, right? Okay, so no, I meant even with that. I meant same thing. Yeah, same thing. So you have 25 and you have 20, right? Durant cannot guard the way Leonard could, so you'd bring that down to about 21, no? No, 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 think, no, 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 no. So what do you think? What I'm do you think saying it's 25 is? with yeah, Leonard he, guarding him. Oh, he's that's getting 25. Too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, the, the, so the, it's a five on, on pure score, I love Kawhi. Kawhi is a great defender. Mm-hmm. On pure scoring, he's not going to keep up with not, Kevin Durant. He's not going to stop him, man. He's and then good. Russell Westbrook's going to be the other X-Factor. Yeah. Yeah. Russell Westbrook can Spurs, but, but the Spurs pop 40 on his own. Exactly. The Spurs are a much better team. Team-wise, yes. Sometimes it's individuals can win Why Leonard doesn't need to score 30 points. That's what I'm saying. He yeah, doesn't, he doesn't score need to. Average yeah, 30 he doesn't series. need to. He'll score 30 in a game. He doesn't need he to. He'll score 20 is like scoring 30 with the okay. kind of team he has. So, okay, so, uh, no, you, I so, you. so last year, let, let's, stay, let's go back to last year. Let's go to NBA Finals. LeBron, LeBron pretty much with reserves took Golden State to six games. A healthy Golden State. They had pretty much everybody there. Mm-hmm. And that went right there. Sometimes it's not a team game. That individuals, when they step up when they need to. Yeah. LeBron, again, the argument can be made. If he had a Kyrie Irving mm-hmm. and he had Kevin Love, I wouldn't even, he, I, might, he might win I'm, that series. I'm going to go with... That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm going to go with... If he just had Irving, he would have won. Do you think that that... He was playing with... Well, he was that Golden State team the same Golden State team you're seeing this year? Hell no. Okay, okay, so so, so this Golden State like team, to me, the way that they up their game is like a Spurs, how they always play with their same consistency of good play. So what I'm saying is, is that with their consistency of good play, like they could, especially with Leonard, the way they're doing, like if he has 20 and he has 25, what I'm saying, the way that their team always plays, you're okay. hoping that Ibaka so, comes into an all-star form and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Like so yeah, I, so I, I, last year, did you, did you think that, that San Antonio had a better team than the Clippers? I bet you did. Yeah, yeah, did. yeah. oh yeah. So what, what I had San Antonio yeah. winning. They got Lamarcus Aldridge, which is again, it's a bit, it's a different, it's a bigger piece for sure. Mm-hmm. And they and um, the guy from Indiana who was um, West David West. David West. West. Again, they got some it's a different pieces. But you were again, Chris right, Paul right. and, and right. so forth. You just never know how things how things right. ran out in terms of because individual guys can win you series sometimes. Yeah, man. Right. Because they they up everybody else's and, and and the thing yeah, is, is, Durant has that type of so uh, thing problem. where he can just. Willed his team by himself to win. He can do that. Okay, we're gonna end it off with this. We have to get on to the next series. Popovich, best coach in the league by far. I don't think sure. anybody's arguing, right? No, okay, no. he's game planning sure. to stop one or two of those guys. You let one guy go off, you try and contain the other guy, and you let the bench beat you because OKC's bench isn't beating anybody. Spurs win based on that, I think. You can, like I said, you can still have Westbrook average a triple double, even if it's 30, 10, and 10. I still don't see them winning that series. If they win, is it a complete shocker? No. Oh, okay, well, they have two of the best players in the league. Is it likely? No. Like, like you said about the Clippers series, anything going to happen? Unlikely. Final picks, and, and in how many games are they going to win it? You can finish up your point if you want. I'm going to, okay, my, my point is, again, OKC would actually have been a lot better this year if they weren't uh, the fourth quarter chokers that they ended up being. If they played the potential, I think they probably would have been close to the Spurs in, the, in record. Uh, they lost a lot of games in the fourth quarter, which they should have won. Probably should have had a, at least a winner or two. Maybe they win three more games. Well, they, that Golden, that that golden, that golden State game. game, they never should have lost that game. If you watch that game, they yeah. never should have lost okay. that game. So they should have had a 60 win. 60, 60 win season. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to go out on a limb. I'm going to take OKC in six. I'm going to stick. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to agree with him. I'm going to go OKC in six because that's exactly what I, yeah. what I, I was a, feeling too. I have, a, I have a, again, there's something in me that says that the Spurs are going to have this feeling, man. I have this feeling that OKC is Which will just make, if that happens, it just makes Warriors run that much easier in my opinion. Because the Spurs have a much better chance of beating them than OKC. OKC okay, yeah, cannot beat the Warriors. They, they just cannot beat the Warriors. Warriors. We'll I don't that. know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Who gives the Warriors the best uh, shot in the West? Uh, healthy. Well, the best shot in the West. I, I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say it's clear Spurs, shot, San Antonio, yeah. because First they. Team-wise. But if Steph Curry, if Steph Curry's injured, no, they slapped up San Antonio pretty bad. They slapped up San Antonio pretty bad. 
After the to first the game, you'll stop that OKC turn. You'll learn. <laughs> after, no, I'm being serious. Even if it's not like a 20-point blowout, you'll see the way that it goes and the way Westbrook yeah, yeah, and Durant play. If you'll, OKC wins, you know, honestly, honestly, if OKC wins. No, I still think Westbrook are winning, but you'll have, a, you'll have a reason to <laughs> cheer. Yeah, because if OKC wins game one, yeah, you're, you're getting that text. text. <laughs> you're getting that text. I'm 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 that, that's a big. Uh, you guys made your pick. Sit on it. Sit on it. Okay, sit on it. Okay, sit on it. What's your pick? Spurs five. Spurs in five. I'll say Spurs in six. Okay. I'll say Spurs in six. We'll hold this. We're, okay. we're, we're on the record on the blog right here. If you go to that next series, we don't have too much time. Um, it's going to be the Warriors are playing uh, Portland, who just and you know Warriors, like I said, seems everything seems to be falling their way. You know, Curry goes down. He might miss this series. Gets a rest. And he comes back. Uh, yeah. Shit. Honestly, I'm saying rest him for the whole series. Bring it back in the, in the Western Conference Finals. Portland's winning one game. They win one? That's one, what I was going to ask. Over yeah. under one game. One game. Now, again, one game. just to throw it out there, who, who gave, who, uh, out of Golden State's losses, what was I the know Portland was, was, Portland was the Portland, Portland smoked them by over 20 points. I know, I know. I know but they scored like 40 points that game. This is again, the playoffs, man. man. This is different. They're not, they're not going to win the series. I am going to give Portland, I'm going to give Portland two games. <sighs> I was gonna say, what if Curry won't play? play. Curry won't play. I wouldn't play. be surprised if it goes I would, six. I wouldn't be yeah, the games in Portland will be real tough on on, on the Warriors. Yeah. Mo Harkless, shout out to him. He's been killing it for yeah, them so far. Yeah, they yeah. they got a bunch of. We talked about misfits. I know Orlando is like. Why did we trade Mo this guy? Orlando, I know Orlando. Like, why did we trade this? Now, the Big Devil's advocate. The whole situation had the Clippers again. Blake Griffin and and when Chris Paul not gotten injured, and they probably would have won this series. That would have been there. You know, with Curry not playing, oh, I might have taken the Clippers to beat them. Oh, for sure. Because without Curry, Curry but there, I think, I but I think, but oh, they would have to bring Curry back. Because Chris Paul would, they would have, have to bring problems. Curry back. They would have to play Curry. Curry. With they, Chris Paul? I don't, guys, I don't have a Clippers shirt that I can put on. Everybody knows I'm a Clippers fan. Are you guys really saying the Warriors can take out the Clippers without Curry? I'm a huge fan of Chris Paul, and we talked about that before when we were saying all the point guards. But I don't like the way I like even without Curry. I watch the way Golden State plays basketball, and I'm not scared of them even without Curry. I'm I'm scared to them to actually like. Come I'm on. not scared. You to need them. to understand that they were playing the Houston Rockets. They yeah, are garbage. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It does matter. It does matter. You know that. It does matter. It does matter because Houston is trash. Yeah. Well, you're gonna see. Even <laughs> like, without, like it's, they, 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 got they got killed. They got killed. They weren't even. You they, know what? Didn't have a chance a to of, win the series. A lot of pundits said the same thing. Once Curry went down, that that had the, had the Clippers been there, that would have been a real because those games are hard games to win because of the rivalry. Too, yeah. They're very yeah. physical. Yeah, it would have been a lot of pressure on Clay Thompson yeah, and Draymond Green in there. I'm telling you, man. It it, they would it's, they it's would have to bring Curry back. It's a given that the Clippers series would be harder than Portland, but. That's not where we are. We're at Portland. So yeah. back to yeah. the series <laughs> predictions. So I'm going to take uh, Golden State in six. I'm going to give them Portland two games. They've been playing good at home. Portland. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'll take I'll take the Warriors in five, though. Okay. I'll go six. And I was, I was about to jump on and say a sweep, but uh, I just Portland, Portland's that team that, like we said, at home, yeah. they score a lot of points. Yeah. Their crowd gets in. Yeah. I say they get two games. Yeah. Um, and do you guys think Curry comes back? That was what I was thinking. No, do you guys think Curry no, comes back no, for the series? I mean, he, I don't think he should. What about, what about the Clippers like, 7 or something? I had been the Clippers, you would have. Let's say it I mean, goes 6 or 7. seven. If you go 7, you bring him back for game 7. You, if you no. go 7, you he bring only him back comes for game 7. Of course, of course. If he, he only comes yeah. back if it's 2-2. Two, two. No, if they yeah, if, like, if two, two, they, they, they win the first game, you don't have to bring him back. You have a game to get. No, no, but again, he only comes back if it's 2-2. Oh, you mean the two, 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 Yeah, but some. Uh, oh, I thought you meant the Clippers thing, sir. No, no, it's two. Back, it's two, 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 two. No matter what happens. If it's no, two, two, the series is if the series is two two. You don't you don't bring. Uh, yeah, you don't come back. Um, Curry will come back. Is that that'll that'll give him like two three weeks? Yeah, I think I think so. I think he'll come back. I think he's two two. That knee thing is again the next series. If he's already practicing, I mean he's testing it out. It made things more interesting because I think everyone thought the Warriors were going to win the championship, and now things are a little bit up in the air. Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. The only thing that they're actually lucky with is they get the Blazers, not the Clippers, exactly. which does not wear them down, we think. Yeah. 
but we'll see what happens. All right, that is going to wrap up our uh, first round series. Good luck to the Raptors tomorrow. Hope they oh, win. Oh, we hope they lose. For the Toronto fans, I don't know. Come on, come on. I got the shirt on today. We're going to revisit this uh, next week. We'll talk about how the um, the semi conference semifinals end up going down. We'll see you guys next week on the block. Oh, that's the end of the block. Yeah, that's the end of the block. Yeah, that's the end of the block. Yeah, that's the end of the block. the block. Yeah, that's the end of the block. Yeah, that's Oh, oh yeah, we did like a good like, the house West. House. The West was like a nap compared to the Raptors. I know. Oh, yeah. like, the Raptors. <laughs> yeah, was, oh my say, God. Raptors thing was always getting eaten. The other one, I, I was <laughs> the thinking, no, we're still good. I'm just saying, you like <laughs> everybody's so damn heated. Yeah, the Raptors thing was good. Well, we'll see. Like I said.